Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 68 to 69. Let's go ahead and get started. Warning, this episode contains disturbing content and imagery. Yeah, I'm sorry Maggie. This is when you step aside. Sam, you don't have to do this. There's other ways. It's fine, Maggie. Let's get it over with. I'm glad you and not Dave. Sam, you'll make it quick, right? Same shot, right through the head. Right. I'm sorry, Chris. It was nice knowing you. No! Maggie, he's not worth losing our ourselves over. Losing ourselves? Are you kidding me? Sam, this isn't you. This isn't the man I married. The man I married wouldn't hurt a fly. We both hurt people, Maggie. Not like this. Not in cold blood. I held Becky's legs when Chris and Gina cut her head off. Oh, Sam. I held Becky's legs when Chris and Gina cut her head off. Yeah, and that broke you. But this is a whole another level. This... There's no coming back from this, Sam. I'm not going to let you do this to yourself. Okay, yeah, you're right. This isn't me. Phew, thank you, honey. You're doing the right thing. I love you. I love you too. Okay, Chris, you better get going. Remember the way? Uh, um, uh, uphill till I hit the railroad tracks, then follow them west. Exactly. Okay, and there's really a place for me there with the rebels? I, yeah, I think so. No, I promise. Just go there and be calm and tell them I sent you, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, both of you. I mean, you did ri read me, but I was trying to read you too, so no hard feelings. It's not each other we should be fighting. It's whoever did this to us. Exactly. I think you'll fit in with the rebels, Chris. All right. Thank you. I'll see you soon then. Yeah, I'll come by in a couple days, probably. All right. Well, goodbye for now. And Sam, can I just say, oh. <laughs> I kind of knew that was coming. It is. It is. Sleeping. <gasps> Sam, you... you... I'm sorry, Maggie. I don't like lying to you. But you stopped listening to reason. And at least it's over now. I won. We're done talking. I'm gonna save her. And there's nothing you can do about it. So. Now you can leave. Oh, it looks like we have a w our winners. And our champions of the day are Sam and... Fuck off, Jillian. Okay, here, Jillian. Thank you, that was quick work, buddy. And uh, hey, now you have three smileys. Which means you're eligible for the next vote. All goes well, you'll be going to Hillside. How does it feel? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, man. Oh, and uh, you should know Dave's dead. What, Dave? Really? Yeah, before I arrived, Chris managed to grab his gun and shoot him. Damn, I thought that old bastard would outlive all of us. You okay, Maggie? You okay, Sam? Oh, Lore, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Maggie, why don't you come with me? Hmm, Sam, why don't you come with me? You look like you could use a drink. Weird. Okay. On to the next one. <laughs> no way. 
completely in the nude? <laughs> yeah. She just ran down the beach screaming, Nuki Duda! She thought that's what the sign read. I don't know how she got the that from East Palm Beach, but I guess she was only about three or four. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I bet you never let her live it th down. Of course not. I always planned on telling that story at her wedding. Mm. Hey Sam, maybe you still can. Yeah, Mr. Three Merits, if you get voted up at the next trial. <sighs> yeah, maybe. There was something Dave said to me. He said, I I've been too focused on the game and haven't made any friends here. Heck. Chris and Gina were kind of our friends, and look what happened. So I'm doubtful we're going to get voted up. You know, Sam, the problem might not be you. But hey, look at me going on about my own troubles. What about you guys? How many kids you guys got? Oh, uh, actually, no kids, either of us. I'm here because I'm, I was Tom's partner on the force in our hometown. When they were killing the folks without kids, Tom vouched for me, said he needed me in Lakeview. Tom and Laura, too. I owe him pretty much everything. And Julian's story is actually weirdly similar, right, Juju? That's true. Except I think out of all the people in the Lakeview, I'm the only one actually from here. Oh, really? You grew up in Lakeview? Yep. Born and raised. My mom used to teach sailing lessons on the lake till the tourists stopped t coming. The town was pretty much dead until all of this. I used to like it though. You should have seen the stars when people were. There were no people switching lights on. She used to take me out in the lake and we'll lie there. She would make a funny names for the constellations. Huh, that's funny. I did the same thing with Sarah. No way, really? Yeah, in the mountains, though. We had a cabin we went to. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, but I didn't have it in me. I mean, obviously, who does? She did, though. She was so smart, so driven. One time, we were looking at the stars, and she told me she was going to be an astronaut. Out of the blue. And she said it was just like that. Not, I want to be, but I'm going to be an astronaut. I believed her. She sounded just like her mom. Oh, well, that is just distinguishedly sweet. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, it's cute. She sounds awesome. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry about your mom. I guess if you're here, she's not around. Oh, yeah, thanks. She died a few months before. After that, I was going to head out before I go to college. You know, the day I was supposed to leave was the day this all started. It's funny how things works out. And even funnier that is that what saved me. I stayed and hid and then soldiers came to this town to scope it out for this second tier site, they call it. Then they found me hiding out in the boathouse. Of course, with no kids of my own, they were going to kill me. But then Laura stepped in. She was only a councilwoman to begin with, but she managed to convince the rest of the council that they needed someone with local knowledge. There were some objections, but eventually they approved my uh, continued breathing, I guess. At first, Lorge was just being kind to me, but I tried a hard to show her that I could be an asset. And that was that, and I pretty much became her assistant. And then I met this handsome man in uniform. <laughs> Stop it, you. That's sweet. Love at first sight. Oh, no, I hate him at first. And I never thought I'll go for a guy with a mustache. Oh, please. I had you on the line right away. Hmm. Maybe a little. <laughs> what about you, Sam? How did you and Maggie meet? Oh, uh, well. It was New Year's Eve. Well, I mean, technically before that, but this is a better story. La la la. I can't hear you. Laura, I'm serious. The thing is, nope, I'm serious too, Maggie. Stop right there. I told you, I'm happy to look the other way on all the rebel business, but I can't be a part of it. 
Then why did you ask me down here? You gonna make me say it? I don't have too many friends to share a drink with. Oh, Laura, I'm such an asshole, sorry. It's fine, really. You've got a lot on your mind. But Maggie, you have three merits. You can get voted up. You can see her again. People literally kill for that. You've killed for that. Why throw it in with these rebels? You know, today's her birthday. She's 18. My baby. She's a whole new person now. I have no idea how she's been living. And she chose her life and she doesn't want me in it. But I'm still here and even if I'm not a mom anymore, I still have a life and a body and I, I can do what I want with them. And the rebels have a plan to save the world, Laura. Not just one or two kids, the world. You really believe in this mu that much? Even if there's a, just a chance she still wants you in her life, you're not going to take it? Yeah, I believe in it. Ha! <laughs> what? Sorry, it's just, I was a pastor in the South, Maggie. I've seen a lot of strong believers, and I've never known anyone like you. I admire that. I wish I still had that fire. Well, you could help us. I told you, I can't mess with the vote or all that I've worked for. I didn't mean that. There's, there's actually something you could really help us out with. Oh God, go on. Well, Laura, actually, I was wondering, can I borrow your phone? Is she gonna allow that? I mean, she, I'm pretty sure Laura kind of knows what her phone is capable of doing, right? But is she's going to allow Maggie to have a hold of that phone? That was Sam. I just can't believe he went down that dark path and just unalive. Oh my gosh. Uh, he's whatever. He and Maggie are going to go separate ways for sure. They don't see eye to eye anymore. I don't know how they're going to make it work, but I will be surprised that they will talk things out and move forward together. But it's on a very slim chance right now. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. And I have one more read to do and I'm editing and I'm going to sleep. Catch you guys next time. Bye.